Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of Learning C++20. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about constrained algorithms. So in C++20, we're getting constrained versions of many of our STL algorithms living in the std ranges namespace. One of the very nice things about these constrained algorithms is that instead of requiring us to pass, say, a pair of iterators to our algorithms, we can instead pass a single range argument. So just a way to you know, decrease how verbose some of our code is, make it, maybe make it a little bit easier to understand visually. Uh, we're not fundamentally changing how these algorithms work, just how we write them. So when we're talking about ranges, we're talking about this range concept here, which defines the requirement of a type that allows iteration over its elements by providing an iterator and sentinel that denote the elements of the range. So what we're really trying to do here is make the fact that you know, some type has a beginning and an end kind of implicit. So instead of having to manually pass in to std sort, you know, beginning of a vector, end of a vector, we can instead just pass in our vector. And it's implied, you know, that it has this beginning and end iterators. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples here of how we can, say, update, you know, calls to, you know, traditional STL algorithms with these constrained algorithm equivalents. So let's take a look at this STL um, sort. Uh, program here. And all we're really doing is using two algorithms, std generate and std sort. So I create a vector of integers here, uh, of 20 integers. I use this uniform int distribution and std generate to go ahead and fill this vector with 20 random numbers between 0 and 255. I print out the numbers beforehand. I sort the vector using std sort, and then I print out the vector afterwards. So, you know, I can go ahead and compile this now. Uh, so I can compile STL uh, sort and run it, and you see that it simply sorts the vector, right? So, you know, before all the elements are in some kind of random order, and then afterwards they get sorted into ascending order. So let's update, um, you know, STL sort to use these uh, uh, to use our constrained algorithm equivalents. So instead of calling say std generate, right, let's call std ranges generate. Right? So from the ranges namespace. I can get rid of this uh, beginning v or begin v and end v now, and I can just pass in a single range argument, right? So now it's implicit that you know vector has a beginning and an end iterator sentinel pair, and likewise with std sort, I can simplify this by instead of having to you know pass in a beginning and end iterator, I can just pass in my range argument, which is my vector, which you know defines a beginning and an end, and I'll could and I'll call std ranges sort over here. So we have a little more expressive way to write this code now. I can basically say, I want to sort the vector. I don't want to, I don't have to say anymore. I want to sort from the beginning of the vector to the end of the vector. So it's a little less verbose here and maybe a little more expressive. So I can go ahead and recompile this again using C++20. And you see, I get the same result here, right? So I have an unsorted vector beforehand of random elements. And then I have a sorted uh, vector in ascending order afterwards right so just one use of our or two uses of our constrained algorithms and we can do the same thing with a call to say std max element here so here i've got a call to std generate so again all we're doing in this example is creating a vector of random numbers and then trying to find the max element here right using std max element so again we can decrease how verbose this is by instead of you know calling std generate i can instead call std ranges generate and get rid of this, you know, begin v, end v, and just pa pass in a single range argument. In this case, my vector v. And likewise, down here with std max element, instead of calling std max element, I'll replace this with std ranges max element. And instead of passing in this iterator sentinel pair here with beginning and end, I can just pass in, say, v. And I get the exact same result. So here, I'll go ahead and compile um, stl max element. And we go ahead and print it out, and you see that we have a bunch of random numbers in V, and then STL ranges max element finds the maximum uh, number. Well, it finds a iterator. It get, returns an iterator to the max element, and then we dereference it. So 252 here, 252 here, the maximum number inside of this vector. So again, these constrained algorithms just provide uh, some syntactic sugar to C++ 20. It allows us to, you know, a little more succinctly. Uh, write our algorithms and express them uh, in fewer lines of code, maybe make them a little bit easier to read as well. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. As always, you can find any of these examples at github.com slash coffeebeforearch. 
under the C20 uh, samples repository. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.